That's right. Two weeks in, Aaron, what, what do you think about your group? What have you seen? Um, we are fast. You know, I, I, I thought we were fast last year. I know we're fast this year. Guys are flying around to the ball. Um, I mean, I'm really excited just collectively as a unit. Um, just our, our team speed is, it's kind of shocked me a little bit. I, I kind of had the, the inclination that we were a fast team, but like, I know that we're fast out there, especially after watching, um, practices the last couple of days. What is the difference with that? Back in the, like, what, what's the difference with that? Well, great question. Um, I think collectively, um, just overall, you know, um, I knew the back end was fast last year. Um, but like, I'm just talking about like team speed overall, you know, offense, defense. We are a fast football team. Um, our guys run to the ball. Um, they're trying to get to the ball, you know, um, and it's it's just very refreshing um, as the coordinator to um, knowing that um, like we don't have to coach effort, you know. Um, and so like it's just very refreshing to have a group of guys that fly around like that. Two years recruiting to mm-hmm. what you guys want, speed and length. I'm, I'm sure is part of that. Is, is that part of the process? You know what? I, I think so. I think so. But uh, I mean, speed and length is definitely something that that we that we try to focus on in recruiting. But just having that mindset, you know, that's also part of it. You know, because I mean, what good is speed and length if a young man isn't wired the right way or he doesn't um, just have that fanatical effort 24/7? And so, on top of having good speed and length, we like guys who just we're just wired right now. I think we got a bunch of young men that are that are wired the correct way, and, and it's showing. It's showing every day we hit play on that film, man. For a layman, Aaron, how much are you trying to install before the end of spring, knowing that first day of fall camp, you just you start from day one again and just do it all over? Again. Yeah, I'm trying to. I guess um, the installs have been going day by day. You know, I'm trying to install as much as these young men can handle. Okay. You know. Um, so we track something called um, um, DBOs, which are essentially mental errors, and they stand for don't beat ourselves. You know, I think it started off on offense. Um, Barry made reference to um, to coach, and coach kind of like implemented implemented it within the construct of our of our team. And we track um, DBOs every single practice. And so, what DBOs are, right? Are they mental errors? Are they penalties? You know, or are they turnovers? And so um, if our guys, if we have a practice and our guys have a lot of DBOs, um, I know going into the next practice that, um, well, maybe we need to cut back on the install or install nothing, you know. And so it's just, it's just strictly based on how does that, how is that practice or, or, or how are our installs progressing and can our guys handle it. And so um, I come from some places to where um, – coordinators will install regardless. Well, we don't function and operate like that. And so if we think our players are having a hard time um, understanding the concept or not really getting it, we will hold off on installing um, because we don't need to put more on their plate. We need to get them really, really good at this particular thing or their particular assignment and, um, and proceed from there. But so far, it's been really good. And so we've 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 installed a lot of defense, man, and these young men are picking it up. They're picking it up really well, and we're going to continue to do that until um, until their DBOs say otherwise. Coach, you have heavy losses in the secondary, obviously. Who are some of the guys that that uh, you're going to be relying on to step into those roles? Yes, Anybody surprise you so far? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm encouraged by our whole secondary. You know, so um, like that's probably been the biggest question, you know, and so. Obviously, we know Taz, right? Everybody's seen Taz play. We know Tyler Strain. Everybody's seen Tyler Tyler play. Maybe not as much last year, but he's coming into his own. He's been having a really good spring. Xavier Scott has been a shining star, man. He's he's I mean he's really poised um, in the secondary. He he's he's handling a lot of adjustments really well. Very smart player. Excited about him. Tyson Rooks is coming along really well. Um, young corners on the outside. Um, Caleb Patterson's coming along really well. Um, um, Miles Scott. I'm just gonna say Miles Scott again. All right, he made a play yesterday. Um, I don't want to speak too much on it, but he made a play yesterday that um, it blew us away. It was a really good football play. Um, uh, it was a really good football play, man. And so, again, like I, like I said beforehand, there are gonna be guys that nobody like really knows about that are kind of gonna emerge. You know, um, Zach Toby's another one who's been who's been doing really, really well as a young guy, Elijah McCantos. I mean, I'm encouraged by 
I mean, all of those young men, they've made strides. They've made our jobs really, really hard as coaches. Because it's like, who's going to run with the ones today? Who's going to run with the twos today? Nicario Harper, um, he made a play yesterday that, that just was like, wow. You know, and just his effort to, to the ball, you know. And so all these young men, they're shining in their own right, and we're really, really excited about them. And so it's just like, right, we tomorrow is the first opportunity for us to tackle. And so everything else been good, and so now we really see what it's like when we have a chance to tackle. And so I think that will give us a really good gauge on where we're headed and, and, and who we can rely on after this first scrimmage. Has Matthew Barry been able to do just mental reps? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a it's been a lot of lot of mental reps for him. Um, he's 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 pretty much a coach now, you know. Um, and I think he's seeing the game from a different perspective, and it's been really good for him. I mean, it's been extremely good for him. And so, um, um, he's, I mean, we we all know that young man can play. You know, it's like right now for for me, um, I'm, I'm trying to find out who who don't we know about that can help us during the course of the season. And so. Um, all these, all those other players I named, those, those have been guys who people don't really know about yet, who I think have a lot of ability and potential to be stars. Did you lobby for Miles to join you? Um, yay and nay. Um, I don't want to give my secrets away, but we have been talking about Miles about a year ago, you know. Um, but you know, I mean, he was he was really good on the offensive side of the ball and. He just kept flashing, man. He kept flashing, and you know, sometimes a young player needs a position change, and um, I think it was more so coach's idea, but I wasn't shying away from it, you know, because I think he has the structure and the mindset. Just physically, he has the structure and the mindset to um, to do what we want him to do. But I'm telling you, man, I wish you could have seen his play. It was a hell of a play, man. It was a hell of a play, man, and um. Um, he's he's gotten better. He's gotten better every single practice. That's what's been the encouraging thing. And so, anytime you get a young player who hasn't played much at a position and they're getting better every single practice, I'm like, I can't wait to see him at the end of spring, right? And then when we get in the fall camp and he gets more more reps at that position. But um, I'm really encouraged by the young man. Is it younger guys like Xavier or Elijah kind of got a taste of the boy in the NBA? What's been your impression of their kind of approach to the spring with kind of a different opportunity? Well, you know, like. I think with the, the like the really cool thing, right? We've had a lot of success in the secondary, and these young men were able to sit in a room with those players, and so they've innately kind of, you know, not, not trying to be Spoon or trying to be Sidney or trying to be Quan or trying to be Kendall, but just taking little bits and pieces from them, and whether it's the communication piece, right? Whether it's the swagger and the demeanor, whether it's how they study the game. Um, those guys that played in the bowl, I'm, I'm like so encouraged by them because like I see flashes of our former players in them every single day, you know. And so um, I know we have a more than enough ability to be just as successful or better than we were in the back end. It's just a matter of, you know, um, allowing these young men just to play within the confines of our defense and not try to go outside of their ability, just really honing in, trusting their technique, Trust in what we're teaching and coaching them, and then just allowing them to go out there and play. Coach, up, up line for you, pretty established. Is there movement there, or they're too deep? I mean, are there, I mean, you've got some guys that have been there a long time, done a lot of things. There's always kind of movement there. And yeah, I, I think I think up front's a tad bit different because those guys are constantly running to each other. You know, um, rotationally, you know, Coach um, Coach Jameson is doing a good job rotating guys, getting fresh bodies out there, but we've had. A ton of guys like um, um, Denzel Daxon is coming along really well. He looks really good at the nose. You know, I'm, I'm really encouraged by him. Um, T. Rod Edwards obviously is 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 been phenomenal, right? Um, um, Christian Kurt. I mean, it's we got some guys, man. Like um, that coach Jamison has been ro rotating up front interiorly that have been that have been shining this spring. You know, and I'm just really encouraged along the way. You know, to to as good as Johnny is, right? To ask him to play 80, 90 snaps in the game is crazy. So we're going to – just at that position, you always need um, a healthy group of guys, right, Sub, subbing those guys in and out, backing them up, right. We're going to always be six to eight deep up front, you know, with guys rotating in and out. So guys are going to play a lot of snaps for us, whether they're starting initially or how are their backups. You yeah, know? Taz, I'm sorry. Taz has shared the room with Tony, Dave, Devin. Um, how have you seen him? 
step into that leadership yeah. role? Is there any specific thing you've seen him do that you kind of maybe saw the light go on? Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think naturally, right, when you have older guys lead a room, um, the next in line is often the next best player. Um, but, I mean, Taz know he has the ability, but I think he's kind of embraced that role because he's seen many guys before Spoon, you know, and, and the way he's kind of embraced that role is just like really small details, right, like like pre-practice, showing guys how to warm up pre-practice and get in a proper stance, right? Just That's a small, really, really small detail, right, on the sideline when he's not in, coaching guys up. I mean, he's always been doing that, but he's really doing it now because we got a lot of a lot of younger guys out there, you know what I mean? And so he's taking the younger guys under his wing, and he's really um, he's really teaching them our system, right? And he's coaching them hard, really hard. Now Taz has a very unorthodox way of doing it, but it's, it works, right? And they understand it. And so um, it's been so refreshing when we as teachers can step back and allow our players to be teachers. That's what's been the refreshing part. Is that depth of linebacker? Do you think it's is that a team strength? It seems like you got. You have some numbers there at linebacker. Oh, 100%. It's a massive strength, man. Um, we got a lot of dudes at that position. Um, Coach Coach Boo and Coach um, inside linebacker, Coach Boo and Coach Bull and our outside linebacker have, have been doing a phenomenal job and getting those guys ready. And it's just a matter of, you know, like what personnel grouping we're in and those guys are going to play. You know, like any given Saturday, any given, um, any given practice, we can fluctuate different personnel groupings and have a whole bunch of linebackers on the field and, and flip it to where we don't have many on the field. And so it's just a matter of trying to find the right pieces, right, that fit what we're trying to do schematically and get our job done. Do you like what you're seeing on Tyreek this spring? He said last 